Student loan payments pause is going to end. It's going to end December 30. I'm extending to December 31st, 2022, and it's going to end at that time. It's time for the payments to resume. Using the authority Congress granted the Department of Education, we will forgive $10,000 in outstanding federal student loans. In addition, students who come from low-income families, which allowed them to qualify to receive a Pell Grant, will have their debt reduced $20,000. Both of these targeted actions are for families who need it the most. Working and middle-class people hit especially hard during the pandemic, making under $125,000 a year. If you make more than that, you don't qualify. Ninety-five percent of the borrowers can benefit from these actions. That's 43 million people. Of the 43 million, over 60 percent are Pell Grant recipients. That's 27 million people who will get $20,000 in debt relief. Nearly 45 percent can have their student debt fully canceled. That's 20 million people who can start getting on with their lives. In the coming weeks, the Department of Education will lay out in detail a short and simple form to apply for this relief, along with information when this application process opens. By resuming student loan payments at the same time as we provide targeted relief, we're taking an economically responsible course. How do we pay for it? We pay for it by what we've done. Last year, we cut the deficit by more than $350 billion. This year, we're on track to cut it by more than $1.7 trillion by the end of this fiscal year, the single largest deficit reduction in a single year in the history of America. I will never apologize for helping Americans working, working Americans in middle class, especially not to the same folks who voted for a $2 trillion tax cut that mainly benefited the wealthiest Americans and the biggest corporations that slowed the economy, didn't do a hell of a lot for economic growth, and wasn't paid for and racked up this enormous deficit. Mr. President, is this unfair to people who paid their student loans or chose not to take out loans? Is it fair to people who, in fact, uh, do not own multi billion dollar businesses to see why these guys get them all a tax base? Is that fair? What do you think? What about people who paid?